On episode 33 of the TD Nation Kickstart Show, we help you guys select the proper workout shoes. What's up, TD Nation? Welcome to episode 33 of the TD Nation Kickstart Show. I am super excited to be back. Um, I've been sick and then I have family in town. Uh, so it's been a little while. It's been over a week since I've done the last TD Nation Kickstart Show and I've been anxious to talk to you guys because we have so much good stuff going on. And uh, the February challenge was just amazing. Um, today we're going to be talking about shoes, picking the proper shoes for the activity that you're doing. Very important. I see a lot of people working out in the wrong shoes, so I want to help educate you guys on that today. Before I do that, I've got a lot of things to go over, um, kind of news in TD Nation. Um, the, the February challenge was awesome. You guys could see the banner pick each day of the, of the week, um, was a new challenge like post your goofy face or lip sync or post your pet day pet day oh my gosh was pet day uh popular everyone posted pictures of their pets you guys obviously love your animals like i do um so i want to give uh out our our winner for that um so we're giving away we told you guys we're giving away um uh, uh beach body performance pack sampler pack and I'm also going to give away an asylum agility ladder and speed rope um, with the performance pack I'm also going to give away uh, I'm going to stick five samples of Shakeology in here so you know what I'll do a week we'll do a week we'll do a week of Shakeology also um, so that you guys whoever gets it um, can see how amazing this stuff is um, the performance pack we went over this but um, it comes with Beachbody Recover Great for post-workout. It's got perfect uh, ratio of 2 grams of protein to 1 gram of carbs. All natural. No artificial sweeteners. Really good stuff. I love that. Um, it comes with Recharge, which is your nighttime recovery. Helps, uh, helps you just get a great night rest and, again, aids in muscle recovery while you're sleeping. Um, hydrate, which is like, uh, this is like our, our Gatorade, but without all the chemicals and crap. So... Um, again, all natural, no artificial flavorings. Um, all of this designed by Harvard doctors. And uh, as you guys know, the FDA does not regulate the supplement industry. So you better trust the companies you're buying from because a big report just came out and a lot of companies got nailed and are in a lot of trouble for putting stuff that shouldn't be in their products, in their products. Um, scary, scary stuff if you don't trust the company or haven't done any research on the company that you're buying products from. Um, and Beachbody was not on there, by the way, not on that report. Uh, one of our TD Nation favorites, Beachbody Energize, which is the pre-workout. A lot of people are afraid of pre-workouts. Nothing to be afraid of in this. All natural stuff. You've got caffeine from green tea, 100 milligrams in one scoop. A lot of guys take two scoops. You've got beta alanine, um, which is just an amino acid. Um, oftentimes found in you know chicken that kind of thing and then you've got quercetin which is an anti-inflammatory found in things like um, apples red onions um, all natural again no artificial sweeteners or flavorings um, tastes like lemonade really really good stuff and then there's also creatine which is unflavored creatine monohydrate um, and then I'll throw in uh, some some Shakeology in there for you so then you get your all your uh, your micronutrients, your vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, phytonutrients, all that good stuff to make sure your body's running um, and you'll be set. So the winner of that, the winner of the February challenge, who could, how could it not be Kendra May? I don't know if you guys saw Kendra's post, but 
Um, her videos were awesome. She just cracks me up. So Kendra, congrats. Thanks for, uh, for, for playing and, and having a great time and, and helping everyone in TD Nation laugh and, and keeping it light. I love it. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, 22 Hardcore just released yesterday. 22 Hardcore is a new boot style, boot camp style workout set to cadences. Uh, all the military uh, uh, military vets are all in the program. Incredible. It looks really, really good. Uh, designed by Tony Horton, who did P90X, P90X2, uh, and X3. Um, and the, the prices are really cheap on it. Uh, for the base kit, you can get the base kit for 40 bucks. Um, and then the deluxe kit, which comes with, um, obviously the workout programs, but then the 21 day fix, uh, container system for meals. And then also, um, you know, sandbag, um, that they use a lot in the workouts. And that is 79, I believe. Um, and then the best deal is the challenge pack where you get a month of Shakeology um, plus the workout program. A month of Shakeology is usually $130, so $4 per serving. Um, it's usually $130 for a month, but you'll get the 22 hardcore challenge pack for $140. So you're getting um, the, the, the workout program, the 21-day the fix container system, um, the sandbag, for ten dollars more than what Shakeology normally costs you, so um, it's an incredible deal. And then for those of you, everyone that's in it, we have a sign-up sheet in the file section. Make sure you add your name if you order twenty-two hardcore, because we're giving away two hundred and fifty dollars to somebody in that group. We're going to use a new app um, where we can break off a little bit and have like a, a very focused group uh, where we're just doing twenty-two hardcore, just the people doing twenty-two hardcore in the group. Um, we'll go through it the 60 days. Everybody who finishes all the pro, all the workout programs in those 60 days, will get their name thrown into a hat. And I'm gonna pick a name out live, and uh, and we're gonna give away $250 to one person who finishes 22 hardcore. So um, really, really excited about that. It's something the coaches wanted to do to give back to you guys. Um, so thank your coaches for chipping in on that. Um, to just do something fun for you guys, do something fun for it. We like to do that when all the, these new programs release. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, to Fred. Um, Fred, you know, kind of posted in um, the Extreme Team. For those of you that don't know what the Extreme Team is, it's something we started a couple years ago for people who have lots of weight to lose, so like 75 plus pounds. If you're somebody that has 75 or more pounds to lose and you want to be in the extreme team, let me know, let your coach know, and we'll add you in there. Uh, but as you know, you know Fred's lost 400 and some pounds, and um, he he's just started um, getting that group fired back up again, and they're doing little challenges and doing things that um, to keep them accountable. Um, so you're you're in a group of like-minded people who also have a lot of weight to lose, and um, you, you know you guys especially need a good strong support system. Um, so really good group of people. Um, so you know get a hold of us and we'll get you in there. Fred's doing a wonderful job getting that group fired back up, and they're doing their own kind of challenges and stuff. So that's that warms my heart. That makes me so excited to see. Um, our members want to reach out and help other members um, like that. So very cool. Um, retreat tickets. I was uh, I was I, I was you know sick and then and then had family in town and was just unplugged because I just wanted to devote all my energy and time to them. Um, so I hadn't been checking the boards and forgot to post and, and remind everybody that February 29th was the last day for retreat tickets. So since I didn't do that. Um, this Friday will be the last day for retreat tickets. I think that's March 5th. Um, so this Friday, last day for, to buy retreat tickets. If you don't know what the TD Nation retreat is, go to tdnationretreat.com. You can read all about it. Um, it's it's uh, my highlight of the year. I love it. It's so much fun. And this year it's going to be crazy. We just If you follow me on Snapchat, you know last week we booked uh, the place for the meal. And um, we don't really eat healthy on this trip, guys. Um, and we 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 booked a, a new well, it's not a new, it's a, it's a it's a new building, but or a revived building. But um, I mean, big, thick, thick Chicago style pizza. It's the best. Um, so we've got our own room. So we'll do some fun stuff in there. We're gonna go see uh, a live band. 
um, after that. So we've got so we're gonna have so much fun. Um, there'll be some working out in there too, but um, we're gonna earn our food. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. Last boot camp kicked off, so everybody's in that, um, and they're doing great already. Everybody's super fired up in the boot camp. So TD Nation's just rocking, guys. I did go back. I read through all your whys and, and looked at all the transformations, and you guys are just awesome. You're just amazing, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you, um, and I just love the, the positivity in the group, um, and then that when someone does feel like they need help, they feel comfortable enough to post, and then there's a million people helping them, so... Um, keep inspiring guys, keep inspiring, keep being awesome, um, keep doing things the TD Nation way. All right, let's talk shoes, all right? So, um, workout shoes, everybody wants to know, you know, what kind of shoes are best to buy, so it depends on your goals, it depends on your activities, it depends on what, what fitness thing you're doing at that time. What I see most people go with is a running shoe. And before I even get into that, number one key when you're picking your shoes Make them loud. Don't go with with boring gray or black shoes. We gotta make these suckers loud, right? Every, we need everyone to know we're working out. Um, so let's see. So for running shoes, all right. I see people doing everything in running shoes, and that's a mistake. Running shoes are meant to go from heel to toe, right? Um, they're they're meant for a running gait. They're not built for lateral movement, um, and they're built to. Um, absorb or cushion energy absorb and cushion energy right so that your feet stay fresh um, when you're running long distances um, so running shoes can be bad when you're doing plyometrics when you're doing um, lateral movements because the toe box isn't as sturdy so your foot can shift in there um, when you're doing squats and deadlifts and things like that a cushioned heel is going to absorb the energy rather than transfer it to the floor so that you can push back up uh, more effectively. So running shoes are not the best thing, but if your primary activity is running, then running shoes are great and you definitely need running shoes. But don't just go to finish line and grab a pair of shoes that looks the coolest. You need to go to a store that, that specializes, has a camera set up on a treadmill and can watch your gait. And you know, Invest the money in a good pair of running shoes if you run long distances. They're going to tell you whether your foot pronates or supinates. Um, you know whether it how how it rolls basically and rotates. Um, most people, their feet, their foot when they're in their gait, their foot rolls inward. So what will happen is you'll see shoes with a gray bar here that helps um, get you in a more neutral gait so that your feet don't roll in so much. Um, some people, most of the time with a higher arch like myself, their feet will roll out. And when I bought running shoes, I used I didn't even know this existed. I didn't know that you know the the bar there existed um, or what it was for. I was just buying the you know the coolest looking shoes. And I was blowing out the outside um, of my shoe because my foot rolled out so much. Um, and now that I get a neutral shoe that doesn't have this big, a big gray bar here, um, I no longer blow out the outsides of my shoes. So very important that you pick the proper running shoe if running is, is what you're going to be doing. Um, and then also very important that if you're going to be doing, you know, uh, circuits or CrossFit or squats or deadlifts, those kind of things that you're not in running shoes because it will affect your performance because of all the absorption in the uh, sole of the shoe. So if you're going to be doing um, you know, some type of uh, cross training activities, um, you're gonna need a good cross trainer. And you know, a couple years ago, I could never find a good cross trainer, but with the popularity of CrossFit, of P90X, of Insanity, those types of programs, um, companies are starting to really get into cross trainers and really good ones. So I'm going to give you my fav my two favorite cross training shoes if you're doing lateral movements um, or squats or CrossFit or that kind of thing. Um, the first um, is the Reebok Nanos. Um, they have a little bit, you know, you know, you can see the uh, the toe box so that you don't blow those out because you're going to be moving laterally a lot. You can see the flatter heel, stiffer heel, so that you can transfer energy if you're doing, you know, cleans or jerks or those kind of things. Um, and it's just it's just a really really good shoe. They have you can find Nanos um, on sale 
they have several versions, Nano 2, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 5.0 is the latest. If you're going to look for 5.0s, you're going to probably spend 130 bucks, but you can find them on sale for as little as probably 50 or 60 bucks if you go with the older versions. All are good. Um, these, I think, are 4.0s. Um, yeah, but these are, these are great. My other one that I use for cross-training, and I just got these, are the um, Nike Metcons. Now there's two models of Metcons. There's Metcon 1s and Metcon 2s. Um, Metcon 1s you can find on sale for about $80 since the Metcon 2s came out. These are the Metcon 2s. These are about $130. Um, again, uh, more secure toe box for lateral movement and stiffer heel so that when you're doing squats, cleans, jerks, all that stuff, you can transfer the energy directly to the floor and, and press more weight. Um, the Metcon 2s, the heel is even stiffer than in the Metcon 1s. So um, great shoes uh, for everyday use. I use these um, and my Nanos um, for all of, you know, all P90X, Insanity, cross training moves. Um, really, really good shoes. Um, and then lastly, if you're going to be doing, um, you know, a lot of squats and you're looking to be, you know, do power lifting and you're looking to get your numbers really up on squats, one thing that might help you are a pair of squat shoes. Um, squat shoes, the heel is raised and the heel is extremely stiff. There's absolutely no give. Now, the reason for the rise in the heel is to keep you more upright. A lot of people, when they, uh, a lot of people have longer femurs, so when they squat, um, there, if this is their torso, um, and you're squatting, uh, people with longer femurs will bend over more and almost good morning where they're pressing the weight back. Um, that when they, when they squat down, their back comes over, um, and then they have to push their back way back to get the weight back up. A rise in the heel will help keep you more upright in a squat position. A rise in the heel will also help with your ankle mobility. So if you have limited ankle mobility, you're going to have a hard time squatting deeper, and uh, this rise in the heel will help you with that. Um, so these are shoes I wear just when I squat, even though I don't have long femurs, um, and I can stay pretty upright. But the heel is so stiff and hard, I can transfer energy to the floor really quickly. Um, so that's it, guys. That's shoes. Um, you know, pick a shoe for whatever activity you're doing. Um, if I had to, you know... Um, I, well, now would I? I probably I would not run in these, okay? Just like I would not squat or deadlift in these. So, um, but you can find good deals on them. You can find good deals. You don't have to spend, you know, one hundred and thirty dollars on on a pair of shoes. Um, just find a shoe for your activity and make sure it's loud and that you stand out. Um, and that's it, guys. All right, question of the day: Tell us what your favorite workout shoes are. You got a brand you love, got some that uh, never wear out, let us know. Love to hear what they are, um, and uh, feel free to let everybody know the price on them. And that's it, guys. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of TD Nation. Thank you so much for helping everybody. Um, it just warms my heart when I see somebody who's struggling post, and then you know, 200 people jump on and, and pick them up and support them and lift them up. and. Um, just an amazing community and I couldn't be more excited about where we're going and about what 2016 holds for you guys. I foresee lots of amazing transformations in our future. Love you guys. Have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you on the next show.